Hello and welcome to Ginger Welsh Allotments. Today I'm in my garden as I've got a lot of potting on to do and I'm hoping to plant up some of my um, bed behind me, my flower bed that I've recently put in. And I thought while I was doing that, I'd give you a tour of what's going on in my greenhouse and show you the pots that I'm potting on. I've inherited some new pots recently as we had the fence done the other side which I'll show you in a minute and while the tree surgeon was doing that he said I've got some pots would you like them so I said yes and he's given me a load of mostly terracotta pots so I got to pot things on into them now so I've got my thyme to go into this pot I'm gonna put mint in this pot my blueberries are going in them those two pots I've got my tomatoes these are my tumbling toms to go in them too oh now I have to show you I don't know if you remember back in December I did um, a vlog about my grape cuttings well these are the grape cuttings and absolutely nothing happened with them so basically I've just been growing, well not even growing, I've just had five twigs in a pot for the whole of the winter, which is quite funny really, isn't it? Hello, Anwen. Say hello, Anwen. Say hello. 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 So I made a start at planting up my border. Here I bought some plants from B&Q, which I've put in the border as well as some bulbs so i've got some rubecchia in and at the back i've got some gladioli i've got three at the back and three the other side so hopefully they'll come up as one has already come up the other side but there's no sign of anything else happening i just thought i'd show you anwen tipping all my expensive multi-purpose compost straight out of the border and onto the floor but she's happy anyway and maybe she'll follow in my footsteps who knows so this is the new fence we've had put in and here on the floor is where i've been digging out the new border we did have a picket fence before and it does feel a little like we've put up this humongous fence to keep the neighbors out which we haven't done at all here's the rose bush that was here when we came when we moved in four years ago and i'm not quite sure what to do at the moment with the border i was going to put this rose bush in that my father-in-law gave me a couple of years ago but i'm pretty sure that it's dead i took a twig from there the other day well i took a couple and both were brown so i don't think much will come of that plant but anyway going back to the border i think i'm going to put some tomatoes in here this year i was going to put all flowers but i'm thinking that it might be easier to have tomatoes here rather than over the plot i don't know what to say as soon as i start to do a vlog the wind picks up and then it dies down once i stop uh but going back to the tomatoes my neighbor over the allotment did say that he never grows tomatoes over his allotment he always grows his tomatoes at home and so does my other neighbor adrian because tomatoes and potatoes get the same blight which i i knew but he said well if one gets the blight then they shouldn't pass it on to the other if you grow one at home so it is a good point and I'm kind of thinking he might have actually been telling me, please don't grow your tomatoes over here. Because if your tomatoes get blight and pass it on to his potatoes, then his potatoes will be knackered, wouldn't they? So I'll have to have a think about that. Okay. It might be easier to water them if I grow them in the border here. I don't know. I'll have a think. But let's go and show you the greenhouse. Here is the new look gravel drive. Swing you round. We've had sleepers put in in that bed over there, which we're hoping to do in the back garden as well. This rose bush is putting on a magnificent display so far because the poor thing has been moved around from pillar to post since we moved in, but it's really coming into its own now. So, Anwen has been here and left a mark. 
to just go in a bit closer. These are my peas, which I'm growing in Gatterin. And um, they were all standing up really well, but I put them out yesterday to harden them off and um, the wind's blown them all over. My celeriac is putting on a bit of weight now. So uh, hopefully I'll be able to plant them out soon. Got some, these sweet peas don't look very good, do they? I don't know what happened to my sweet peas this year. I was going to plant them outside in um, in the border, but I'm not sure if I will now. And these are extra leeks, which I'm not sure where they're going either. And those are some more sprouts. And those are helotropes and some cornflowers. And these are my pumpkins, butternut squashes and Turks turban squashes. And they're just flying away. They're doing really well. I've got some seedlings up here. And in the toilet rolls are my beans. I've got blotty beans and some runner beans. My Rosilla tomato is doing well. That's ready to go into its final position once I've moved everything out. These are courgettes, courgette plants, those, those two there. And um, I'm waiting for them to put on a bit more weight before I plant them out. But the one over here is, I've got to plant that out as soon as I can because it's just monstrous. I don't want to pick it up and show you really, but I, I will because it's just, well actually I'm not going to because it's, it's just flying away, look. So I need to get that in the ground as soon as I can. Got some cosmos growing and those are the sunflowers for Nick's allotment diary hashtag sunflower challenge I think it is so I'm hoping to get them into the border well some of them in the border um, this afternoon but we'll see how we get on I've got a lot of dahlias that I grew from seed I got some Elysium and another Elysium there. Some basil, some purple basil, which will go with my tomatoes, whatever they end up. And some snapdragons here. Or antirhinum, as their proper name is. I can't actually remember what's in these yoghurt pots. And I don't think I've labelled them, so whose who's guess is as good as mine? Some lavender plants. Now these are my busy lizzies, which are not doing great, and I don't know why. Hello, darling. I don't know why, um, but I'm going to plant them in one of the pots I was given and hope that they recover. And if they don't, I think I'll just buy some plug plants from a shop and use them the same way. Here are some geraniums, I think, that my neighbour gave me. And there's the teasel, which should have gone in years ago over the allotment, but I haven't cleared the ground, so it doesn't look like they're going in. Oh, and some stocks, which I can probably pot on the stocks, actually. I was well reminded doing this tour. And finally, we move on to the portable greenhouse, which has got my outdoor peppers in. So I've put them in here really to harden off. You can't see very well. At the back I've got some more seedlings growing. There's some foxgloves, marigolds. And here I've got some petunias and some pansies. They're winter savoury. And then my cornflowers and some celery. So this was the pot I was talking about that I'm going to put the Impatians or Busy Lizzie's in. And it's really heavy. But before I do, I'm going to go and make the children lunch. So I'll catch you in a bit. And now that they are fed and watered, I'm going to get on with my potting on.
that's it from me for today <laughs> It's really, really windy, so I go inside to find something to do. So I'll show you the planting out of the border another day when it's less windy and cold. All I can say about that is lovely job!